What's going on guys? It's your boy Chili here bringing you another Lego review. This time I am doing the Lego Wally. Like I picked this up this weekend. Well, I don't know when you're seeing this video. I don't know when it's going to be posted, but I picked it up. Really wanted it. I traded in some stuff and was able to, you know, pick it up pretty much. I got this and a couple other sets for the trade-ins that I got. But this thing is absolutely cool. Like, look how adorable Wally looks, like, in Lego form. Like, absolutely amazing. Anyway, getting into the box, it's Lego Disney Pixar Wally from the movie Wally. It is 12 plus. It is set number 21303 with 677 pieces. And I believe, I'm going to guess this sold for 60 bucks when it first came out. And it is a 2015 Lego set. I believe I was able to pull this off enough to see. Yeah. So, had a little box damage before, but 2015 Lego set. The little, I think that's like a security tag, but there's your bottom of the box. A little bit of damage on it, but not much. Like, it's, I mean, it's a almost 10 year old set, like. I can't expect it to be like in pristine condition, but it does have this yellow box style. It has Wally there with the trash piles behind him holding his little plant that he found. The side of the box shows some scenes from the movie with the Disney Pixar logo. As you can see, I did buy it new sealed in the box because it's still got the original Lego seals on it. Side of the box has another picture of Wally in Lego form with the earth behind him and everything box looks really cool actually and disney pixar wally with the lego logo there the bottom of the box i kind of already showed you and the top of the box has the actual size of that little gold looking brick there with the components and don't choke lego with the set number and the back of the box it is a what are these called the ideas i think Somebody got this and or put this in there. It got voted on. He won and they made it in a set. But there's another Lego Wally holding the plan up, looking at it. I mean, a cool looking set. Like all in all, it really hurts me to open this set because it is worth a little bit of money. Like I want to say that. Let me move the camera down a little bit. I want to say this set can be sold on eBay. It was selling for like upwards of like $300. I got it for a little bit cheaper than that, like I said, and after trading in stuff, it was pretty much, you know, free the way I look at it cuz I traded in stuff I had when I was a teenager and I'm 31 now and they gave me enough money to get this and a couple other sets and I still have some money left over to spend at that store. But breaking the seal on this is oh my god. I really don't want to do this. Like, it is such an expensive set, new in box. But at the same time, I really want to build it and review it for you guys. So please smash that like button and consider subscribing because this actually this actually hurts more than you more than you think. I guess all there is to is open it. Oh my god, I broke the seal. It just lost like a hundred dollars of value for that one. And there went like 200. So let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. Oh, so nice little black boxing, kind of like the ISS, the way that it opens and everything. Ooh, is there no number of bags? Huh. Make sure this is real. It's real Lego. Did they not do number bags in 2015? Like, you guys can let me know. I thought they still did number bags, but apparently I'm I'm wrong. I thought that number bags was, you know, older than the last few years, but it looks like you got three, four, five, six. That's the tracks. Seven, eight nine it looks like about nine bags I did have it's exactly nine bags and then you get your instruction manual 
this thing is kind of a lot thicker than I expected. And it's really feels like better quality. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It feels more sturdy, I guess you can say, than most other Lego sets. So let's move the box here out of the way. There was nothing else in there. Empty box, shoe box style. But yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it. It feels a little bit more, not as flimsy. It's got some, I don't know if y'all can hear that, where it's like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel as flimsy. There you go. You got some information on Wally. You can pause and read there on the designer. I will read all of this off camera. Thought there was another page, but it looks like it goes into another language. So just in case y'all are from another country and watch this, you can read it. And looks like about three different languages. So. Or if you know how to read that language and you're from America, you can pause and read it in all three languages. And then it looks like you get started with building something. It doesn't even show you what, you, what, what you're building, but you know, a little bit more of a challenge, I guess. Let's go to the back, plain white sheet. Uh, looks like a little, some more information here on, on Wally. It looks like his, hands move which you would expect his head turns 360 his little door there drops so i'm guessing inventory and there's you finishing up wally by putting the plant together but let's go back to this stuff because i'm not used to seeing things in the back of instruction manuals oh it's just telling you about lego ideas so if you got an idea go check that out I'm not into like mocks as much as some people. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I am going to get this built. Sadly, I opened it. So now it's probably, you know, back to being worth $60 instead of being worth the like, like I said, upwards of 300. I saw on eBay, some people in the sold section, not in what people are selling them for. They were selling for upwards of $300 new in box like 250 260 you know all the way to three so yeah but now it's only worth about 60 bucks especially after i open all the bags and build it right now might be might be still close to 100 dollars, 150 maybe but it's about to be worth the 60 bucks because i'm about to build it so let me go take care of that and i will see you all when all we right, get guys back. and we are back as you can see wally is done and this was a really uh really cool build like when you start out it's kind of not really what's the word i want to use it's kind of just interesting i guess like you build like a couple of things before you build other things that make it like where you don't even know that's what it's going to be until it ends up being it that's probably not making any sense whatsoever but we'll get into it and if i can remember what parts of that there is then i will let you know when we get to it but anyway like i said you got wally here his arms do move they have they're on these little ball hinges here as you can see so they got pretty good pretty good movement his head is probably the one thing about this that i don't really like and that's because it spins 360 degrees like really easily but like if you pick it up his head just automatically turned all the way to the back like it's it, it's just not on there that great but i mean it looks good but it's just not on there that great the eyes do kind of move where you can have it you know kind of up or have like a sad looking wally but you know it, it's okay it's just it's it spins rather easily and i wish they could have fixed that but you know whatever the neck also you can move the head in different positions like so and then you got this piece here right here that also moves you can give them like a, a straight up head but i kind of went with how the box had it which was a couple of bends and then bend this down to be straight straight ahead so that's just how i did it you do have a, all these are printed pieces by the way you've got this little solar charge level here 
with like a little red translucent piece for like a light. You've got the Wally here. This piece does open up. There's really nothing inside. This is one of the pieces you like build and then you're like, what are you gonna do with this? And then it turns into his little door here. The wheels or the tracks are probably the best part. They do move pretty easily, not on this table. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Not on the table, they don't move really good, but if you got them on a softer surface than this table, they move really good. I really like the way they did the tracks here. You've got like a little space cut out here that looks really cool. Like just a little empty space there. The bottom of it kind of just brick built, nothing real special about the bottom. The other track is built the same way. Looks really cool. Like again with the arms, you have all this movement to them. The hands just kind of swivel back and forth like so. All the little fingers here on the hands do open up and move. You've got his little plant here that I've got his hand closed around right now. You can open that up. There's his little plant. I believe it's supposed to be inside of a boot, but that's Lego's version of a boot, I guess. Again, with his head, it does spin rather easily, but you've got these little pieces here that come out. These little rubber, uh, can't remember what they were used for. They're on like a lot of spaceships and stuff like that. I know a bunch of the old ones, but they're really nice pieces. And there you go. Got that. The back here, this piece doesn't really like, it's supposed to be down like so, but it does have these little things here that pop out. Not sure if that's relevant to anything. I can't remember that much of the movie, but in the instructions, it says to kind of put them up at an angle and put them in like so to give him some little back design. But yeah, guys, that's that's Wally. Like, I mean, a rather cool build. Not like the most impressive thing I've ever done, but not the worst thing I've ever done. It's a small little build. I mean, it's like 600 and something pieces. It's not very, very big. Really expensive set now. This set's running at like upwards of like $300 on eBay right now. I mean, it's ridiculous how, how this set like went up in price i mean it, it is a cool set don't get me wrong and it is retired so that's also cool but it's just not like that impressive of a set for 300 dollars. i mean really cool i do like it uh the movie i i thought the movie was pretty good but just with what you get for the set it's just not you know not all there i mean there's not a lot to it his head really bothers me with the, like, not staying straight on. I mean, it does have a lot of good detail to it. And I love the, like, soulless look of the eyes that reflect, like, the light. As you can see, my little, my little, whatever, whatever they're called, ring light. <laughs> but I, I don't know, guys. Just not, like, my favorite out of all the sets I've done. I've got a couple more retired sets that I'm going to get into here in the next few weeks. I don't know exactly when they'll come out, but anyway, guys, uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I will catch you on the next one.